Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kiori. In today's video, we're jumping into some more Valheim gameplay. In today's video, I, I wanted to um, I wanted to go over killing the Eldar, which is the next boss after the um, Ichthyr. Um, we also need to go over his like his treasure, like what he actually drops. He only drops one thing, but it's actually pretty important to like the um, the next ores and stuff like that, and iron and such. Um, and yeah, then we can go find the Swamp Burial locations, which the key actually unlocks, but again, I'll get into that later. And uh, yeah, see what else this uh, episode has in store for us. It's actually quite annoying, because I've um, I already filmed this episode, but this, I left the, the mic muted, so I was just talking to nothing, so I'm, I'm not very smart. But yeah, so, um, so yeah, we're jumping over to the Elder. Actually, I need um, I need the seeds. But yeah, so I um I recorded like episode yeah episode seven. This is yeah. So I technically recorded it already. It was like, like forty minutes long or whatever, and yeah, just <laughs> noticed that the mic was muted. I was gonna cry. Nah, just kidding. Alright, so we'll quickly go and grab the seeds. Yeah, how you guys actually, um, how you guys enjoying Valheim? You guys actually, um, playing the game yourselves? Because I know it's pretty popular. It's like, what, 5 million players now? Like, active players, whatever it was. Which is pretty insane, if you think about it. Alright, as you can see, like, we got, like, heaps of stuff from just, like, wandering around. By the way, thistles, crazy important for, like, making sausages and potions... So definitely pick them up. Yeah, I got bored, so I just started making some some little some little stuff going on here. I don't know if I'll keep it. I don't even know if I really want this base. I just yeah, alrighty. So let's get to it. The elder. <clears throat> the worst thing had to happen to me last night. I was playing. And I was exploring on my ship, and I was hitting um, some burials, some burial chambers, like some ruins, for certain cores. And I had an absolute bunch on me. Like I had a full, like two, like two stacks. I had like twenty on me, like hundreds of gold, like you name it. I had heaps of stuff. And like I was just chilling in the ocean, minding my own business. And I get attacked by two sea serpents, and yeah, I just I get fucked up. Like right in the middle of the ocean too. Like it was like. Yeah, it's like all the way up here. And it took me so many times to get it. It took me like five hours to get my stuff back because there was just legitimately two two sea serpents just sitting there guarding my stuff. I tried to like... Um, why won't you grab my stuff? There we go. Hey, look. Yo, does anyone actually know who this guy is? Apparently, they someone reckons it's Odin because did you see how it only had one blue... Uh, like had one one eye? And obviously, Odin only has one eye, so people are reckoning it's like Odin, which I think is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, just leave me alone, please. Oh, poison. If we're being honest, I think thought I thought my spear was going to knock him back but it didn't but it's all good it's all good we're chilling here we go get the stamina back up Yeah, so um, how many guys are you actually like playing? Are you guys like enjoying Valheim? Are you getting sick of it? Because me personally, I've only been playing like, I don't know, say like a week, something like that. Maybe a little bit longer. And I've already got like way over 100 hours on it. Like, I'm low-key addicted. Oh, poison again. Biatch. Oh, get him with the throw spear. Let's go. 
I love that attack. The throw, the throw of the spear. All right, so basically, like, I find the easiest way to, um... Fuck, there's more more shamans. The easiest way to defeat this guy is to... Uh, there we go. See, we got the attack on him. We threw him back. Which gives us enough time to grab the uh, spear. Anyway. So, yeah, so I find the, like, the most, like, the easiest way for me to defeat the Elder, like, personally, is I just, like, sit back in the trees with some fire arrows. A hundred normally does enough. But it normally, like, is enough, sorry. But it does as long as you're hitting your shit correctly, I guess. But yeah, I just chill back in the trees. Last time, he was, like, I was down here because I was running away from two trolls. And, like, he managed to, like, he glitched out between, like, this pillar and some trees over there. He just kind of just kept walking back and forth, back and forth, like, not doing anything. So it's pretty easy. It's a bit of a cheat, really. Alrighty. So same deal goes. So just grab your three ancient seeds, put it into a numbered slot in your inventory. Go up to the ancient bowl and just press the number that it's in. And he shall spawn. And you just have to yeet somewhere. There he is. Oh, I missed him right over his head. What? Oh, okay, maybe you can't hit him until he starts growling. BSC yeah, fire arrows do pretty decent amount of damage. So you just chill back here for a bit. Dodges attacks. His attacks are pretty crazy. Well, only the one. This one here. Not too keen for this one either. You have to be careful. He like knocks down like a thousand trees behind you and squashes you. All in the face. I was wondering if that, he has like a stone or something in like the middle of his chest. I wonder if that was like a crit. You gotta be kidding me. I never hear them fucking coming. No. I told you last time I got fucking chased by like three of them. I didn't hear him. Ah, <sighs> see what I'm talking about, guys. It's just, it's just not a good day. Just fuck the elder and the trolls. Alrighty, I shall see you guys when I'm back over there. We've uh, basically killed him. All right, see you in a sec. Alrighty guys, welcome back. He's nearly dead. It's a bit tedious, but does the trick. He just keeps walking back and forth down here. Oh, we're running nuts. Alright, there we go. He's dead. Oh, trees. He legitimately knocked down like every tree. Crazy bastard. Alrighty. Alright, so it actually gives you another one. Interesting. Alright, so like I said, the only treasure you really get from him is the key. Or the swamp key, sorry. And the elder trophy. Alright. I'll go through what the swamp key does when we get back to base. So I'll just quickly cut to us going back to base. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, we are back. Well, back at base anyway. So, I just wanted to quickly go over... Uh, what the actual swamp keys for so basically so essentially obviously you got your um swamp area here um, i probably should have actually stayed at the elder site and shown you but where i've got marked uh burial is actually where the chambers are which basically so like exactly the same as the skeleton ones you know that you find in the black forest except um they've got like a like an iron gate and it's built out of like solid stone you can't miss them. And yeah, that key obviously unlocks it. 
and the good thing is it actually unlocks um, iron because sorry I just need to put this away well I didn't realize how much gold we had yes yeah, so it unlocks iron and you have to like start like mining away at it takes a while but I don't even know where I put my elder trophy hmm interesting but yeah so you just take the key with you into the swamps search around for a bit and so you find one and yes yeah, so just make sure you got a good pick with you or at least build a just I'd take the normal pick with you um, not like a bronze one or anything because that way you can just build a workshop straight outside and if it breaks just quickly run back outside and just keep repairing it every time it breaks and the good thing about iron is the fact that you don't have to like piss around with like two copper to one tin to make one bronze it's legitimately just one iron scrap for one block of iron or like for one iron ingot if you want to call it that which is pretty good and especially if you're only playing by yourself um, yeah, it takes like little to no time to get pretty much everything you need like to build a new upgrade for the workbenches along with the forge and some other stuff like even even iron armor like it's little to no effort I mean where are we at so like there's three burial chambers just on this little swamp island that I know of and I've still got all this swamp island down here along with one down here and there's a few more up here so chances are there's gonna be a fair few so you can get quite a lot the only problem you'll have is if your say like your main base like where mine is like where my forge and all my upgraded forge and that is the only problem you'll have is that once you mine the iron here i can't actually portal it from the elder island all the way back to my home base i'll have to start like a proper base wherever i'm at unless i just keep boating it back and forth which is a pain in the ass but unless i mean i don't know it's up to you if you've got like a like a like a like a lot of it like if you're talking like say like four five six maybe seven stacks or something like that and you put like four on the boat and three on you like i mean maybe then boat it but other than that you might as well just start setting up like a little base wherever it's at all right so that goes over killing the elder and the burial chambers and the keys in that. And yeah, I'll probably I'll probably leave it here for this episode. Cause I can't we can't really do much now until we go get some iron and bring it back. Cause then we can start making the new boat. We can make iron weapons, the new forge upgrades. Um, and it also you have a chance the burial chambers that we're talking about, you also have a chance of finding a another one of those ruin you know those ruin plaques that we found in the black forest that actually gave us the location for the elder it's this it's this it's the same deal so um you actually find the next boss location by going into the burial chambers or you can like legitimately just search around like a crazy person in the swamps and you can actually find the uh, giant skull in which bone mass spawns but yeah bone mass is um is crazy probably one of the hardest bosses anyway but yeah alrighty guys so that'll probably do us for episode 7 hope you guys enjoyed um, like comment subscribe as always and uh, yeah if you want to help support the channel you can become a Patreon member or you can check out my merch store uh, the links will be in the description and uh, yeah thanks for the support recently guys it's been pretty crazy we've gonna have heaps of subscribers recently and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one take it easy peace